one show cannot represent every single experience of being a South Asian. And this is, we're just scratching the surface with this. This episode of THR News is brought to you by HBO for your Emmy consideration. Looking back on when you first started production on Never Have I Ever, was there a moment in the beginning that you thought, okay, this show is really gonna be something special. This is different. I think I thought that not only when I was shooting the show, but when Mindy Kaling first put out the casting call for the three South Asian leads of Kamala Devi and, and Nalini. Uh, as soon as I saw that, I actually at first did not even send in a self tape because I just felt like because of the fact that that casting call went out to the world, they were going to get tapes from everywhere. And I just felt like mine's just going to get lost in the mix. You know, when I when I booked the role, not only was it uh, career changing for me, but it was literally a project that had been on my mental vision board the moment I arrived and moved to Los Angeles exactly 10 years ago now. And I, I don't think any of us knew how successful it was going to be or how um, widespread the response would be. But, you know, when the show came out during the pandemic and the overnight response that we got, it was it was overwhelming in such a great way. But but yeah, I don't think any of us any of us ever knew it was going to be such a big success. Yeah, and we talk about breaking barriers with this show, right? And and how much it means to get a show like this out there, not only out there, but also be successful too at the same yeah, time. Were exactly. there any challenges that kind of took you by surprise by being part of such a groundbreaking series, whether that was adjusting to the spotlight or the pressure to get mm -hmm. the show right, get your character right? What were those challenges that you weren't expecting to face? I think there were, you know, several challenges. There were kind of the broader challenges, like, you know, being a show that's kind of a first of its kind. There have been other shows like this that maybe got killed in the pilot process or didn't make it past a first season or just didn't get the attention. Um, so because our show is kind of the first of its kind, of course, there's been a lot of pressure on the show as a whole, but also on the individual uh, characters and on the writing. and. I understand it because there's there's so much of a need for shows like this and and because no one's ever really done it before. Um, but, you know, one show cannot represent every single experience of being a South Asian. And this is we're just scratching the surface with this. And now I've just seen how this show has opened up opportunities for myself personally as an actor, but also for South Asians as a whole in this industry, you know, I, I've seen the way people talk about it, whether that's in media or in interviews or um, at industry events, and they talk and they, they'll mention our show saying, you know, because of shows like Never Have I Ever, now I can get my project out there. And that is just so incredible to know that I'm a part of something that has been so trailblazing. You know, you mentioned a little bit earlier about making strides and having this show be the reason why other show shows are able to be greenlit or piloted and we're making strides in terms of visibility and entertainment, but yeah. even within the community, being a South Asian woman in a creative space is still very much seen as rare. So yeah. I wanted to ask you about growing up and those early days of auditioning. Was it a challenge getting people in your life to embrace your path? I'm very blessed in the sense that I come from a family of artists and in, in that sense, I always had the support of my parents, which has been crucial to getting me to where I am right now. If my parents hadn't emotionally, uh, emotionally, financially, in every single way supported me throughout my career, I would not be where I am today. And for that, I am just so grateful because I know that it is rare for people from our community. Uh, I, many of my friends who are here who are either working or still um, you know, trying to get work, they don't have the support from their parents and it is only that much more difficult for them. And, um, you know, I, I think that hopefully with a show like ours and and seeing how successful it is and, and people of all generations who watch our show, uh, my hope is that parents will see this and be uh, more comfortable and at peace if their kids tell them that they, they want to go into a, a creative field because now hopefully people will see that you can do it. Yeah, and it's becoming a lot more normalized, yes. which I love. And it's it's not so taboo or it's not so out there to be able to pursue something in a more creative outlet or a creative space. 
Uh, I know you said how your lives all sort of changed overnight once the show premiered. I know you're a big advocate for mental health. So I wanted to ask you, how do you prioritize your mental health while juggling being in the spotlight? I think that that can kind of take a backseat for a lot of people in this industry. And that's when you really get into trouble because we are in a career that is in so many ways, a direct threat to our mental health. So, and especially working through a pandemic. So all these added challenges. Um, I, you know, I do so many things to take care of my, my physical, my emotional and my mental and my spiritual health. It's it's self-care is very important to me. Um, because if I don't do these things, I think I will just crumble. Um, so, you know, I have a daily practice of meditation and breathing and, and stretching and, uh, I exercise, uh, I go for therapy. Um, I journal, um, uh, just pretty much anything that I can do. I try to do, um, because like I said, it's just really important to me and, and mental health is a topic that is also very important to me. And I think it's so, uh, wonderful that we're talking about it more now. And I think it's wonderful that on our show, we see baby going for therapy and mental health being so normal, uh, the whole topic being so normalized on our show. I also want to talk about uh, Mindy Kaling, who has been such a big mentor for all of you guys throughout this yeah. process and throughout creating the show. How has she championed you and this role over the years? And was there any advice that she gave you that you took to heart? Oh my gosh. I can't. She has been such an incredible leader and I've seen it more and more as the seasons have have um, come, have gone. And, uh, you know, to me, she is just such a shining light, lighthouse of an example of how to be a leader and how to care for your cast and how to, um, to champion us, like you said, because, uh, you know, since season one, we've had, we've had obviously challenges with the pandemic and other challenges, and she's always been there and she's always had our backs and she's always, uh, made it made us feel like we can come to her for anything. And you asked if, if there's any advice that Mindy has ever given me. Um, trying to think now. She also gives great comedic notes. Like if, if and when she's there on set in between takes, she'll give great notes to elevate the comedy. I mean, she's like the queen of comedy. So she is, yes. I would take her advice in a heartbeat. Yes. Um, so we know that season four will be the last. Have you mentally prepared to say goodbye? And also what does the next chapter of your career look like? Well, I already did say goodbye because we just wrapped on season four production and it has still honestly has not hit me. Oh my gosh, I Yeah, I think it hasn't hit me because we're all still here and we're seeing each other and we're doing press and season four won't even come out till next year. But I was watching some clips of season three last night just to kind of mentally prepare for press today and and just watching it and, and knowing that, oh my God, I'm never going to be on that set again. I'm never going to be acting in a scene with Purna or with Maitri or, or these people ever again. It, it was a really actually daunting feeling and, and scary in a lot of ways because this set has felt like home for the past three years. And that is such a rare blessing for, for me as a South Asian actor to feel like I get to walk on a set where I feel like it's my set. I don't feel like I'm a guest star. I don't feel like I have to uh, be less Indian. Like I can just be myself. And uh, you know, I'm I'm just so grateful for everything that this show has given me and for everything Mindy and Lang have given all of us and, and being such wonderful leaders. And I'm just, I'm scared about the next project that I step onto and, and I'm, I'm scared that, you know, I won't have that same um, feeling of belonging, but I'm sure I will, but you know, it's just, I've been very spoiled on this set. Let's just say that. Yeah, having that sense of home and it's, yeah. it's, it's tough to leave the nest, but we all have to, right? Yes. Uh, finally, I wanted to ask you, what is the biggest impact you want to make with the platform that you've been given? Wow. You just had to ask that question, didn't you? <laughs> you had to end it with a bang. Mm, what is the impact that I want to make with the platform that I've been given? I always want to be a part of stories that that touch people, that move people, that heal people, that bring understanding into the world. But beyond that, I think, you know, having a platform kind of for the first time in my life, I feel so empowered to be able to talk about things that before maybe I felt like if I said something, nobody would care, nobody would notice. But now I've realized that no matter what platform that you have, every voice matters. And I really do think that individual change drives systemic change. 
And so the, the more kind of exposure and visibility that I've had on this show, the more empowered I've, I've felt to speak about things that really matter to me, like mental health or environmentalism. And if I can make any change in the world through my work and through my platform, that is the dream. 